everyone welcome to the house station a place for all how to's and diy's in today's video i'm going to show you how to make three types of necklaces out of which one is a normal necklace and two are chokers so let's begin with the video so for my first necklace i have this very long chain and what i'm going to do is i am going to add a jump ring to one of its end like so and then i'll take its second end and i'll just make sure that my chain is like straight enough and then i'll add my jump ring to the second end like so and then tighten it so i'm just using regular pliers to tighten it and once i'm done tightening it i'll have this like a necklace kind of a thing long necklace kind of a thing and uh, this is long enough to reach up till my belly button then i have these beads and i'll show how i made this so i uh, i've made four of them and i'll just show how to make one so first i'll take a bead and then i'll take a flexible wire and i'll put the wire through the bead like so and then i'll just with my fingers i'll twist the wire to make a small circle so using my nails i'm doing that and then i'll bend it and pull it so that the wire is nice and secure and does not come out from the bead then i'll just cut off the excess wire leaving about a centimeter or so and then i'll hold this wire to make a loop so i'll just make a loop and then i'll twist the remaining wire so the bead is ready now what i'll do is i'll take a jump ring and i'll attach it I'll attach the bead to the jump ring like so with the loop that I made with the wire and then I'll take this flat silver thing and I'll attach it onto like behind the bead onto the jump ring like so So this is how it's done so I have five of these So now what I'll do is I'll take my chain and I'll so I'll just place it on the table and in a random order so there's no like fixed thing like I want this here or that there so just in a random order I'll one by one start putting the beads so I'll put my first bead over here like so and then i'll tighten the jump ring with the pliers so that the bead doesn't come out okay so when i put my first bead then i'll just leave some space and put my second bead maybe over here so i'm just like randomly placing my beads so i'll just keep on doing this till i cover my whole necklace and once you're done putting all the beads your necklace is ready Okay, so the next necklace is a choker. For that, take a lace and lightly wrap it around your neck to take the measurement and then cut the lace according to the size of your neck. Once you have your lace, take two ribbon clamps and join them on either ends of the lace. So I'll just put it here and tighten it with a plier. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Once I'm done putting the clamps on both the side, I'll take two jump rings 
and I'll attach it on the ends of the clamps so I'll attach one on one end and then tighten it and on the other end I'll put a jump ring and a clasp Once that is done, I'll keep this aside and I have these chains with me. I've attached a small black bead on the chain like I use the same technique that I used for the bead and I'll attach a jump ring on the end of the chain. So I have one chain which is of about an inch. Then I have two chains which are about three fourth of an inch and then i have two chains which are about half an inch so i'll take my choker now and i'll fold it into half just to get the middle portion and on that i'll fix the one inch chain and then i'll tighten it so it looks something like this then i'll take the three fourth inch chains and then these are like flowers on my lace so I'll leave one flower and put in this chain on the second flower do the same thing on the other side and then I'll take the half inch chains and I'll do the same thing so I'll leave one flower and then put the chain so this is what it will look like and now here where we've left one flower I'll put this so this is just a tiny bead and I've attached two jump rings to it And once you're done attaching the small beads as well, your choker is ready. So for my third and final necklace, I have uh, two strings that measure about 36 inches. So I'll take the first string and I'll measure about 20 inches just approximately and then I'll take my second string and I'll place it under the first one and I'll start to do a cobra knot from those 20 inches so I'll keep on doing this till my thread is over once I reach the end I'll secure my cobra knot with a simple knot and then cut off the excess thread then I attach the two ends of the first string and I'll make sure that my cobra knot is in the center of my first string so it's, you can move it like so we'll just do that I'll just move it and bring it to the center once that is done, I'll attach beads on the two ends of my first thread. And once that is done, the third and the final joker too is ready. So those were the necklaces three ways. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video. If you all did, please do give the video a big fat thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below on how you thought the video was. Also, we are very close to reaching 1000 subscribers. So first of all, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for all the love and the support. And I had actually set a target of two years to reach 1000 subscribers. but. I can see that we're going to reach there 
way before two years so thank you very much for those who subscribed and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe i have some amazing things planned when we hit the target of 1000 subscribers so for some exciting things coming up please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and all you need to do uh, to subscribe is just click on the circle down below that has my face in it and you can watch my previous video over here and i even have a travel channel so if in case you're interested in watching travel videos you can watch my travel channel right over there and please do subscribe to that channel as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye